I'm the Colonel and I'm at the Barn Recording Studio in South East Queensland. We're doing a, uh, a harp shootout with a bunch of valve or tube amps uh, from my collection. Uh, there's a mixture of single-ended and push-pull amplifiers. Okay, first up is an 18 watt Marshall circuit built into a, an early Blues Junior cabinet. <laughs> Okay, folks, next up we have a, uh, a home-built uh, amplifier based on a New Zealand 50s radiogram chassis with two 8-inch speakers. <laughs> Okay, next up, folks, we have an Epiphone Valve Junior with a hand-wired uh, circuit board. And um, this is connected to a 10-inch Weber Blue Pup speaker. <laughs> Okay, boys and girls, next up we have one of the oldest amplifiers here. This is a 1953 Supro uh, made in Chicago by the Valco Company. It's got a 10-inch electromagnetic speaker. <laughs> Next up is the ever popular Fender Champ. Uh, this is a Silverface Vibro Champ from uh, either the late 1960s or early 70s. It's got an 8 inch speaker. <laughs> Uh, this is the smallest amplifier of the bunch, and possibly the oldest. I think this may be from the, uh, the late 1940s. It's a US amp, a Sears Roebuck uh, mail order practice amp, and it's got a, an 8 inch speaker. <laughs> Now, folks, this is my personal favourite. This is uh, my favourite gigging amp. This is a Fender 5E3 Deluxe, not an original. It's, uh, it's a reproduction with a couple of modifications for harmonica, and it has a 10, uh, sorry, a 12-inch vintage Jensen Alnico speaker. latest uh, home build project. This is an early 1960s Akai tape recorder converted into an amplifier. Uh, it's a single-ended uh, amp with an EL84 output and it has a 6AU6 uh, pentode preamp. Here we go. <laughs> using a Lee Oscar harmonica in the key of C 
Uh, I've got a, um, a microphone that I built myself. It's a Turner with a Shaw CM cartridge, pretty standard. And uh, we're recording everything with a Sennheiser MD421 microphone. We're setting the microphone at a, the same distance from the speakers at the midpoint between uh, the center of the speaker and the edge of the cone. 